A paranormal YouTube channel called Northwest Ghost Adventures claims his haunted attic has the most ghost activity out of anywhere in the UK. Here are two of the best examples of paranormal evidence. On February of 2018, the Northwest Ghost Adventures channel made a breakthrough EVP session with a possessed doll named Lily. Three times in a row, the same male voice speaks through the spirit box. Hi, spirits. Yeah, I'm okay. Can you tell me, tell me the name of this doll? My name's Lily. I think it even starts talking backwards here, which is something I've never heard a spirit box even do before, and also possibly evidence of a demonic ghost EVP caught on camera. The ghost hunter administers some more paranormal experiments, and Lily the possessed doll passes them all. Can you show us an all, please? Thank you. Can you show me your orbs? A month later, he claims to have been possessed while investigating. He spends the night in his haunted attic, and his eyes open when the spirit box says awake. Uh, uh. He looks around in a trance-like state for some time. Notice how the ghost meter stays maxed out for over a full minute, beginning at 1 minute and 7 seconds, and continuing until the moment his head hits the pillow at 2 minutes and 26 seconds, at which point the lights go out entirely. As if the demon has left, was I possessed, he later asks, and I think most of us will agree that yes, he was. A YouTuber named Talk to Trending records a ghost video in Tamil, India, at a haunted fort. An extremely powerful spirit is said to reside here, and the ghost hunters can't resist the chance to explore the abandoned building for paranormal traces. <laughs> As they talk more about the haunted place, a ghostly apparition materializes behind them. It looks to be in the shape of a person wearing robes from head to toe, and when it moves out of sight, the ghost hunter looks over his shoulder where it would have been. I think this could be his paranormal sixth sense kicking in to keep him safe, but this could also simply be the way his flashlight plays against the stone wall behind him. Although it's weird that it takes such a human-like shape, tell me what explanation you think is true. When a drone drifted over a residential area in Overland Park, two boys on bikes spotted it overhead, and that's when they jumped off their bikes to have a go at it. You can see one of the kids pick something up, I'm assuming a rock, but the drone is much too high up to actually knock it down. The kids follow it for a while, but don't come close enough to truly taking it down, although they make a valiant effort to do so. Eventually, they give up, but the drone doesn't. It continues to follow them for a good eight minutes, with the boys getting fed up enough every now and then to stop and throw more rocks. Certainly a scary and bizarre encounter for both parties involved. Thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers next. Thank you.